Bad news, Andy. Back with a reason to get excited. We were down $202 on yesterday's bonus hunt. We had that awful minus 191 on Tuesday. Three other profitable days, however. And today we are set up for success. I was spinning like a champion over here getting these games going. We got a bonus cost of $58 right now going into today's bonus hunt. We have a week that is down minus $271 right now, but we get a chance to do some damage and then I think we could end up in a situation where it is all coming down to Sunday. That is the dream. That is the hope. So uh, without any further ado, as is enough talk, let's get into bonus number one. And that bonus is going to be the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Gast, I mean, Helios. Because <laughs> nobody bonuses like Lord Helios. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going for it. You got to get you got to fill up that Helios bar a good four times if you want to get anywhere in this game. I have learned that lesson the hard way. So I want to see as many Helios faces. Yes! I want to see just, just everywhere Helios. You know, he's he's so hot right now. <laughs> Is Helios like the sun? It's like Hansel from Zoolander. Look at that, look at that hair. I'm jealous. So jealous. There you go. How dare I block any part of Lord Helios's scream? Unreasonable. Oh my god. Okay, one more. Easy. This is just starting to get dangerous. I like it. So we are going strongly into the night zone. We need six more to unlock the night. I only need, give me two spins with full Helios power. That's all I need. A lot of liars. More liars than the U.S. Senate. Got them. All right. Mega win. I say Senate. I was thinking Supreme Court, but uh, <laughs> Senate came out. Oh God. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, we, okay, we're gonna have four spins to try to get full Lord Helios. We're right on the precipice. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. I mean, making some money on horses is okay, too. Like, that. that's not bad. <laughs> Could have used one or two more, I guess, but... Finish it off! God! Oh, there's no... There's no Helioses. I think we're sunk. There's no way it's dropping, like, nine Helioses right now. No. Damn it. Oh. Super strong, charged-up start. But dying in the stretch, so Lord Helios needing a little bit of cardio, a uh, little extra cardio respiratory uh, training over there. But, God, it, oh. it was building so well, too. I was, God, I thought around, uh, after we got the, into the night section, I thought we had it. Okay. All right. I, for some reason, it must be because it's summertime, but I'm like, very into that pearl diving game right now and this game i just like it i don't even i don't even know i don't even know what it is i don't know what the attraction is i watched some flipper as a kid maybe that's what it is that's going to be worth some money <laughs> i 
Maybe because it's just, it's always winning and doing stuff. It's a super active game. And he's got a 92 RTP. But I don't know, I... Not for me! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I always feel like if I reach over and I hit that button, I'm gonna be hitting the button right as it's already done the last line. I'm gonna think I'm gonna skip the next spin. I can't. If I don't already have my hand on the mouse, I just I don't I can't bring myself to do it. Nice. Oh god damn it. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> but apparently Flipper's gonna sit there staring at you all day. Oh my god, we are... We have kicked off today with an 81X. We're up 30 bucks right now into Coast to Coast. And we still have 10 spins! <laughs> Get it! Get it, Flipper! Build the suspense a little more, Flipper. As you, like, you go to SeaWorld and they're like, they're trying to coax... The Dolph, well, maybe see what's a bad example. Is, they shut that place down. You know, you go to a dolphin show at the local uh, uh, dolphin reservoir, and, uh, you know, they got to, like, like, coax him to come out and actually perform. Probably bad. Probably a bad thing anyway. I don't even remember where I was going with that. He took too much time. <laughs> this died in the stretch. We hit, we got $33. 30 of that was in the first 10 spins. The rest of the time, we're just hanging out with a dolphin, I guess. Um, that's going to be an 85X. Days coming together over there. Check out that fat stack of multis. Hmm. wonder if a marine biologist would think that dolphin was, like, accurate and stuff. I don't know. I don't know why it matters. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the more you know. All right. Jumping Jaguar. Let's do it. Where's the turbo? Okay. The f shit? <laughs> that was... It didn't pause when I opened the menu. It... It, it looked like it was paused, but it must have been playing in behind the screen. Anyway, we got a $25 drop, which is bigger than anything I got on the base game here. And that's going to be the show. God damn it! <laughs> I, missed the, I missed the only good thing that happened, but... God, okay, 84x. Jumping Jaguar. There, there he came and went super fast. But we got Laura Croft coming up. Temples and Tomes. Tombs. Yeah, Tome is T O M E, like Tome of Madness. And this is a tomb. T O M B, where you would bury. The B is for bury. Tomb. And we have three X's. Ah, ah, ah. Very educational program now. We're gonna we're gonna take it in a different direction. Apparently, I have some time to kill while we make no money on this Laura Croft game. Come on. Oh, 
Not a lot dropping, but it's a 15. That isn't really gonna get a chance to do anything, okay? Well, that was 10 bucks. <laughs> Not enough to go see a Lower Croft movie. It's gonna be a 25 Xer right there. Okay. So far, okay, we got a bonus cost. I just want to say bonus cost of $58 and uh, we are currently up 80 here. What's the exact amount here? Oh, is this the, oh no, never mind. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So we're up like 26 bucks right now. Lots of games to go. I'm going to need a bigger... I'm going to have to shrink my multipliers up there. I have played all of the other, like, Poseidon games and Trident games and things like that, but this one I've never really given it a chance. It's a little... I find it a little bit underwhelming, but... In case you were wondering how I came to be sitting here playing Rise of Poseidon, it was a mercy kill. Because I think it's going to be a kill here in a minute, judging by the 34 cents I have in the total win. Oh, we are, we are a sinking ship right now. Is what appears to be happening. We got two more games. Maltese peaked early right now, but we got the Sea of Spins. It's going to be a battle. This reminds me of the heyday of World of Warcraft. Like, the year is 2001. The game just dropped. Everybody's playing it. It looks just like this. Nice. I thought this had a an interesting battle mechanic in it. Just wherever the scatter is determines which ship takes damage. And then you just keep spinning for as long as you can. We got the battle of John Sticky versus Lady Fortuna. I don't know if anyone's watched the book of Boba Fett, but apparently she would be some relation to Bib Fortuna. Then, of course, John Sticky, the stickiest pirate ever to sail for Britain by the looks of it. We got a very, a very close battle going down here right now, but Lady Fortuna is starting to get the worst of it. Her ship has about, I would say about 14 less cannons than John Sticky. But, you know, oh, Sticky now taking the heat uh, right there. This could be, uh, this could be the end. You know, oh my gosh. And he manages just barely to even it up with a, a lucky, yeah, he, he did the, the Stick'em maneuver and he stuck it to the good lady over on the other pirate ship and it is sunk there you have it yar and we'd be plundering a 28x from the carcass of lady fortuna and that's going to take us to the finale which i will try to squeeze onto my page and it's going to be the siren's serenade Here we go. <laughs> there's more there's more to that symbol up top, it's just half of it was cut off. These games, these games. I don't know if anyone's seen the new Chip and Dale movie, but it's it's more for like adults who are familiar with Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, and um 
at one point they go to the uncanny district of Disneyland or something where there's all this like 3D animated characters walking around from like the the early days of 3D animation and they all look like her. They have like weird eyes that don't quite focus on on anything. Weird slow animations walking in places. It's unnerving. Very unnerving. She's 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 freaking me out a little bit. And the the eyes are like like a billy goat. They just like not looking at anything. Well, that's going to be a 1665. Not a lot of fanfare at the end of that, but we did close it out with a 67X, so just tuck those in a little bit. Tuck those guys to bed. All right, that's Andy. Take it away. Thanks, Past Andy. So nice to see some dubs coming in here. We had a hot ticket over there. I, of course, had gotten all of these bonuses, and then I got them all back-to-back -back on a streak. I never get that many bonuses back-to-back, -back, so I went for Moon Princess, tapped out when I didn't get it. Today, this is going to be great. This is going to make a great episode. Let's do it. Let's run with it. And we had, because of that, I just want to point out that I guess where I, I'm going with this is Moon Princess is responsible for, like, $30 of that bonus cost. So this would have been, like, a $27 bonus hunt that got me seven bonuses over here. Just saying, that would have been crazy, but... We still have coming out ahead here with a bonus cost of 58 and a bonus return of 110. We're going to be making out here with 53 additional dollars than what we came in with, which means over in the bottom right of the screen, our 271 is now going to be creeping up to a 219. So that puts us, I think, in striking distance. We got to, if we spin an amazing Sunday, we need to beat the bonus cost and then $219 and... That is a, that's a big ask, but it's not impossible. We're going to be, I'm going to get some Buffalo King Megaways on there, and then I'm going to roll the dice, you know? So uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the conclusion of the week, not to mention all the other great Is It Worth It content and that stuff we have coming out as well. Make sure you're gambling responsibly. Mako your way over to the Mako Casino. Play yourself some Jumping Jaguar. <laughs> and until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.